I will pull it out, and then I will tell you what that prop has to do with Palm Sunday. All right, so here we go with bag number one. Inside bag number one is the number seven. All right, Palm Sunday begins something you're going to hear a lot for the next week or so, the words Holy Week. All right? And Holy Week is seven days before Easter, when we celebrate that Jesus is alive. So Palm Sunday is seven days before Easter, Holy Week. All right, so we got number seven. All right, bag number two. Inside bag number two, we have a stinky shoe. No, it is a shoe because Palm Sunday begins with a story telling us that Jesus and his disciples are walking into a city. Jerusalem is the name of the city. All right? So we got the shoe. All right, bag number three. Inside bag number three, we have a horse on a stick. Now, the reason why we have a horse on a stick is as, as Jesus and the disciples were walking into Jerusalem, Jesus says to the disciples, go and uh, get me a, a donkey. Now, I, don't have a, I didn't have a donkey, so I'm going to go with a horse. All right? He says, get it, untie it, and bring it to me. And when the person who owns it asks you about it, say, hey, the Lord needs it. And so the... So the disciples went and did that, and this person's like, yeah, yeah, take it, take it, for, take it for the Lord. And so Jesus gets on the donkey and begins riding the donkey into Jerusalem. Or we have a horse on a stick. All right, next, we have bag number four. Yes, bag number four is Kansas City Chiefs flag. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why we have a Kansas City Chiefs flag here. How many of you went to the Chiefs parade, the Super Bowl parade, about six weeks ago? How many of you watched the Super Bowl parade on TV that day, all right? Well, it was a big parade, right? Lots of celebration as the players were back in Kansas City. And this is kind of what happened in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Jesus is walking, riding on a colt in Jerusalem, and people were cheering, and there was a big parade started. A parade happened, all right? Next, we have bag, I keep losing track, bag number five. When they got, when Jesus came in, the, into, into Jerusalem with the parade, people wanted to honor Jesus. And this is how they did it. Some of them would take off their coats and lay them on the streets or their, or their sweatshirts or their hoodies or whatever they were wearing and would lay it on the street so that Jesus could pass by and walk on the coats. The donkeys could walk on the coats. It's a sign of respect to Jesus. All right? Not only did they do that, but that brings us to bag number six. And inside bag number six is palm branches. We got a lot of palm branches here. And these palm branches would be what the people were waving, right? They're waving and saying, Hosanna, Jesus is the king. Alright? And they were and they were honoring God and praising Jesus. Jesus walked through the city of Jerusalem. I don't know why I keep saying walking. He was riding on a donkey. We got the donkey that's right in front of me. Alright, he was walking. He was riding on a donkey through the city of Jerusalem. They're putting their coats down, they're waving palm branches. It was quite the parade. However, that brings us to bag number seven, the final bag. Thank you, Lily. Inside bag number seven, we got a rock. All right? Why do we got a rock? Well, it says in the Bible that near the end of the parade, not everyone was happy that people were having this parade for Jesus. And so they're talking to Jesus. Jesus, we need to stop this parade. And then Jesus says, you know, if I made the parade stop and people stopped cheering, then the rocks would cry out. And what I think Jesus was saying was that everyone... Everything knew that God, that, that Jesus was the Son of God, and that Jesus was the one that loved us and cared for us and the creator of everything. All right? So, two questions here. What is going on? What, what's happening here? The people are recognizing Jesus by waving their palm branches as being the king. Now, they thought Jesus might be coming to be king of their country or of their city, but in fact, Jesus was coming as a much different king. He was coming as a king not only of that time, but of all time, to be king of our lives, to be king of our hearts. So, what on earth does that mean for Jesus to be king of our lives? So when the king is in control of people, the people kind of do what the king wants. So if Jesus is our king, then we should be doing what Jesus wants us to do, right? So maybe this week, you can make, you can show that Jesus is the king of your life by first, you know, maybe showing some patience in your family when you're home. Maybe you can show an act of kindness in your family or in your community. And you can show Jesus' love. And when you do that, you are showing to others that Jesus is your king. All right? And by waving palm branches. Now, I have a challenge for you today. And that challenge is usually when we're at church or a lot of churches where are doing a palm parade, they actually hand out palm branches and we hand these palm branches out and we wave them around. But we can't do that today. So, what I'd like you to do 
is if you haven't already done this, is to get something green or find a palm leaf or find something and take a picture of it, right? And then post it on this video page. And what we're trying to do is create a virtual palm print with people turning in pictures. Now, if you want, one of our Facebook uh, posts has a template that you can cut out and then you can color it green and then snap a picture. And then hopefully by tomorrow, we will be able to share a video of everyone in their palm branches to have a palm parade, all right? So look there, Bucky's got his palm, palm branch waving, Lily's got hers, we'll snap some pictures. So this is what Palm Sunday is all about, all right? So I'm gonna pray here and pray us out of this time together. But before I do, I just have a couple of things. One is Lori, Miss Lori Troop's on here, she's watching. She's gonna share a couple of links. One is a link to some uh, YouTube channel where you can watch some more videos about Palm Sunday, a preschool one. You can watch rewatch this video. Uh, there'll be some uh, a worship song by Mr. Nick Kaufman. And she's also going to share a link where you can give to our offerings. You know, we collect offerings on the weekends for um, different different kids in, in need. And so that's an offering that we're going to be collecting. Okay? So be looking for that as well. All right. I'm going to say a prayer. Make sure you post your pictures with palm branches. Okay? Let's say a prayer that you love us and that you came to this earth for us and that you are our king. Help us this week to show others that you are the king of our lives by the way we act, by how we talk to people, by maybe having a little extra patience, by just showing your love to those around us. And I just pray for everyone watching this now or later on, Lord, that you'll be with them, that you'll keep them safe, and that you will bring us back together in person very soon. Thank you for the this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Before you go, remember that you can join us Wednesdays at 3 for some fun trivia. You can also join us Thursdays at 10 a.m. for some early, hood, early childhood story time. And Bucky is here. Bucky, do you have any words you want to say? Oh, wait. Bucky can't talk. I keep forgetting that. All right. Have a great day. Happy Palm Sunday. We'll keep waving till it stops. Woo!